Hi, how are you? My name is Anthony Pascarella. My name is Gino Pascarella. We're from Pascarella Brothers Deli in Chatham. Today we're going to make some uh, German potato salad. It's a delicious summery potato salad that's a little different from your traditional mayonnaise potato salad. The first step to making German potato, you have to wash the red bliss potatoes. With a potato brush, we scrub the potatoes to make sure we get all the dirt off the potato for each one. As you can see, as we're washing, we take them, we have a pot ready. It goes right into the pot. The second step, after we wash all the potatoes, we put them in a pot of cold water, put it right on the stove, and we let it boil. The next step to making the potato salad, we need to wash the celery and peel the celery. The reason why you peel the celery, we like to de-string the celery. It makes for a better tasting salad. The potatoes only have to be fork tender. We don't want them to be overcooked. Perfect. Just want to make sure that the skin stays on. They're very delicate. Bigger pieces are okay. Just bite-sized pieces. Something like that. We want to make sure that the pan's hot. Take the strip of bacon. Take the bacon, put it right on the paper towel for it to dry. Remember, saving the excess bacon uh, drippings. Ooh. Remember not to drip any onto your brother's hand. <laughs> Pat it down. Okay, now we're going to prep some of the other ingredients. The scallions, you're not going to eat the bottom part. I eat the bottom part. It's really strong, it's really bitter, but we don't need that. Put that aside. Just a nice rough chop. That's perfect. Okay. After you've done prepping the scallion, you'll start chopping the bacon that we just fried. Give some fresh dill. A little tricky. Doesn't have to be perfect. Again, you want to taste the dill, so we don't need to mince it. Okay, now we're going to get the celery ready. And the best way to do a stock of celery, since it turns on you, um, just about four or five fingers. So, got it. Then you can make smaller strips. That makes it much easier to manage instead of trying to cut a big long stalk. And every piece is always just the right size. We're just forcing them into the containers because that's what we have. I mean, you could put them directly into the bowl, um, or just so you don't forget any ingredients, have them all separated, ready to. Uh, Put together. Actually, going to zest a, a lemon. I use the uh, bigger side on the uh, the grater. I turn the lemon with just about every stroke, so you don't get too much rind. You don't want the white part; you just want the yellow part. And as you get down, it starts to get a little slippery because it's getting wet. Then the lemon juice. It's a lemon zest. So now we took all of our ingredients and we got them ready in a mixing bowl here. You have your potatoes, your chives, your lemon zest, your spices. Well, just scallions, man. Scallions, chives, silly bacon. And the last ingredient I'm going to put in, bacon. Now, for, it's easier for me in a, in a container with a lid where you can actually shake it. I like to pre-mix the, uh, the dressing. So, I'll take some of the good olive oil. This is the good one. That's about, let's say, half a cup. I'll take about a quarter of a cup of the apple cider vinegar. Put it on real tight. Shaky, shaky. Over all the potatoes. Last but not least, the rest of the baking. Drippings, same thing, spread it across all the potatoes here. Some salt, pepper, some granulated garlic. And gently toss. I don't want to destroy the potatoes. If you can do the potatoes the night before, that would help a little bit so they cool down. You're not trying to cut into hot potatoes, all the skins will come off.
slump down. It's okay. Take that one later. Make sure you get all the good stuff in there. Just right. You want to garnish with a little fresh dill. Perfect for any barbecue or picnic. Maybe Gina wants to taste some. Let me see how good it is. Perfect. Perfect every time. It's great for picnics or barbecues and very easy to make. And stay tuned for more recipes to follow. Have a great day.